Hi, I'm Noel Kelly. Welcome to an episode of Creva Connects, where we just talk about great animal welfare and feeding technologies. We've got Steve Bartlow here. Hello. How are you doing, Steve? I'm very good. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Steve, Expo. How's here, it been? Here we are again. Um, this is, I think, almost 20 years here. 20 uh, years you've been coming here. So I've been and coming you're 25. here. I've been coming here for uh, at least 12 years. Wow. 13 years now. So wow. it's a great show. We look forward to it every year. Um, lots of new innovation. Uh, but really, for me, it's about uh, connecting with people in the yeah. industry, the farmers, the vendors that we work with, and uh, having a good time and uh, sharing a few laughs. We have a few laughs. We have a lot of laughs. Why do you do that when you say we have a few laughs? You know, laughs. <laughs> I look more forward to, to seeing you here because of the stories that we create and uh, uh, yeah. the reminiscing that we do. So. We, have a, we have a private World Dairy album photos that will never be seen online. I've but never some... seen or heard of that before. <laughs> but genuinely, Steve, like, what, okay, so in 20 years, what changes have you seen in World Dairy Expo? Like, what? Well, with regards to technology and innovation, I mean, we see that at the show. Um, uh, we like to try and bring new things here every year. Uh, the format that they use and the locations that they that they have. It's okay, that's okay. Um, it's fine. And uh, um, you know, uh, you know, and we all know that this is kind of revolved around the 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 show. Yeah. You know, and the uh, uh, so. It, it's good in, in the sense of uh, uh, just being able to see new technology. Totally. So. Totally. And like um, you, you said that like we, we were doing a little feed scoop challenge there. Like it, it can be a family day out too. Mm -hmm. So you just had that there. We're doing a little doing a little competition on the agroplastic stand feed scoop. Yeah. And you had a great chat with that family. Like uh, are they like farm and family or what was that so there? Yeah, they're about 30 miles from here. Um, they try and come up every other year or so, um, but uh, and they they have uh, uh, calves uh, in hutches on their farm, and uh, you know we're able to talk with them, and and they can come and you know they threw the the, uh, the, scoop, the scoops the scoop there, yeah, and then um, really just started asking some questions about you know our new uh, flooring system. Oh wow! And uh, we're pretty interested, so. Um, they're here for an education as well to see what's new and, and innovative and how it will affect their farm. Um, just for example, you know, we've got that new flooring that's going to allow for a more drier pen and yep. um, for less bedding. Um, so yeah, just some things that we look in the industry to try and help uh, dairy farmers. But stop now. I know this is agroplastics, but your shirt says ag agri-comfort, so explain. Mm -hmm. So agri-comfort is, is um, a division of agroplastics that really we wanted to um, help bring the world leading products into the dairy industry from around the world. And it's a great compliment to um, agroplastics in the sense that, you know, we're working with cows and calves and, um, and agri-comfort is, is kind of built around uh, providing those um, uh, products, rubber flooring, sand savers, the mattresses, wow. cow brushes, and th those kind of things to And the that's an industry you've been in for, yeah, nearly 20 years now. Yeah. Nearly 20 years. So, um, but I, I hear you, while, while you're a rubber and comfort guy, I hear you're doing really well with the hutches, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Two gold stars. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. Not three, but you've got the two. You've got <laughs> the two. Shooting for three. Yeah, I'm, I'm conscious here because we're live at the expo and, 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 and people are coming in, which people? is great. Yeah. But, 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 yeah. but Steve, so, want to ask you, you haven't always been in the agri industry. You've worked in other industries. And how do you find working in ag compared to where you've been in the uh, past? I know you're only 25 and you're 20 years. 25 here, but years like, old, yeah, yeah. right. So uh, the, the agri industry versus what I was doing before, and I've always been in a, in a sales capacity. Um, and for me, it's about uh, relationships, whether it be with a farmer, uh, any type of customer, vendors, um, selling their products. Um, so they're different industries, but they're the same in the sense that you, it's about relationships. So people buy from people. And yeah. um, so that's really where I feel like I've been successful in, in the sense of uh, uh, building new relationships and continuing on with existing ones. And, and Steve, as long as I know you, how long do we know each other? Oh, 12, 13 years. Damn. A couple of those gray hairs there. Um, 
but you're a problem solver and you love solving problems yes. and like and you're the guy as well that even after the sale is done like if someone comes back to you you're always working hard to fix that problem or what's happening now and you keep that relationship you staying know? in communication with uh, phone text email um, and I do travel around the country quite a bit as well you so how many, how many miles you got in that truck how many miles do you do a year about 50,000 50,000 miles yeah oh, okay I thought you put in one before that <laughs> <laughs> But Steve, great talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Great, we will do it again. Yeah, very good. Cheers. Thanks, all.